Welcome to Neuronet, your first source of information on the nervous system. I'm Miss Mabel. In this segment on the discovery of the neuron, we will meet two famous scientists as we take a walk through time. Throughout the 19th century, there was an ongoing debate among researchers about the organization of the nervous system. One group of researchers, the reticularists, believed that the nervous system consisted of a large network of tissue, or reticulum, formed by fused nerve cells. The main proponent of this theory was Joseph von Gerlach. Let's listen to him explaining his theory. Hello and welcome to my study. I am Joseph von Gerlach. Today I will explain my concept of the nervous system. Through careful observation, I conclude that the nervous system consists of a fine nerve fiber net, also known as reticulum. Although our microscopes are not yet powerful enough to see this clearly, the image we see beside me demonstrates the concept of the nerve fiber net. I also believe that neurons are fused together to form this net. Thank you for listening to my theory of the structure of the nervous system. I bid you a good day. So that was Gerlach's position. This view prevailed well into the 19th century. However, another group, the Neuronists, argued that the nervous system consisted of distinct elements, or cells. Advances in microscopy and histological methods meant that nerve cells could be examined in increasing detail. Santiago Ramón y Cajal, an outstanding neuroanatomist, who is regarded as the father of modern neuroscience, traveled to Berlin in 1889 with his specimens, to attend a meeting of the German Anatomical Society. Let's listen in on his presentation. Ladies and gentlemen of the esteemed German Anatomical Society, I am Santiago y Cajal. I would like to present my findings on the structure of the nervous system. After systematically examining nervous tissue from the brains of various species, I emphatically propose that the neuron is the anatomical and functional unit of the nervous system. With my beloved Zeiss microscope, I was able to clearly discern the neuron and its beautiful complexity as seen in the image to the side. I find no evidence of a reticulum or nerve fiber net, proposed by my colleague, Joseph von Gillack. Instead, each neuron is an absolutely autonomous unit. Thank you for your attention and interest. Good day. Well that settled the debate. At the meeting of the German Anatomical Society, Cajal impressed his audience. Some researchers were so impressed by his work, that they abandoned their beliefs in the reticular theory. In 1906 Santiago y Cajal won the Nobel Prize in Physiology. In his acceptance speech, he reiterated how we always believed that the nervous system consisted of discrete elements. However, it was not until 1891 that the term neuron was introduced. After more research, the neuron doctrine was established. It has four tenets. 1. The fundamental structural unit of the nervous system is the neuron. 2. Neurons are discrete and are not continuous with other cells. They are separated by a synapse. 3. The neuron is composed of three parts. The dendrites. Cell body. An axon. 4. Information flows along the neuron in one direction, from dendrites to the axon via the cell body. We will cover more details on the structure and function of the neuron and the neural signal in later segments. I hope you enjoyed this brief history of the discovery of the neuron. I'm Miss Mabel with Neuronet. So long. <laughs>